In the previous video I've been discussing the various knockoff versions of the popular Kellogg's Fruit Loops cornflakes. Most of them were called fruit rings and got differently distributed and marketed in different parts across the globe. I only experienced the German fruit rings version from Rewe and was left quite disappointed. If you're interested in those I'll put a link in the video description. By pure accident I've now been trying out a completely different knockoff version of fruit loops named Happy Hoops by Edeka. The name does remind me of Fruit Hoops from Crownfield. The Kellogg's company is currently having a huge conflict with most of the bigger German supermarket companies, which led to Kellogg's products becoming very scarce in my country. I thought this would be the right moment to check out Happy Hoops. Happy Hoops are being represented by an animated unicorn, which does look quite similar to the mascot of Unicorn Fruit Loops. Unicorn Fruit Loops seem to be a different branding of Fruit Loops, just with a unicorn instead of the classic Toucan Sam. Otherwise, classic and unicorn Fruit Loops look and taste the same. The unicorn of Happy Hoops looks a bit lower effort but it does have more of a comics look. I like the fact that it wears a necklace made of cereals. The eyes of the unicorn however do look weird, like it would be confused or perhaps slightly retarded. Overall however it is a decent design. As with fruit rings there are similar knockoff versions in a variety of countries. I for example discovered that fruit hoops from Crownfield are also being sold as fruit rings in some countries while using an identical front cover. It looks like Crownfield wants to play both sides and get both rings and hoops fans alike. There are aside from fruit hoops and fruit rings for example also fruity hoops by Clover Valley which have a bear with a classic tourist outfit on its box. Fruity hoops by Chestnut Hill instead have a monkey as a mascot. The Swedish happy hoops from El Dorado are so confident in the quality of their cereals they refuse to use a mascot or maybe they just wanted to cut cost. Who knows. The most audacious copy however gotta be rainbow hoops by Asda. Who looks so dangerously close to unicorn fruit loops Kellogg's could have probably considered a lawsuit. The first thing you're going to notice with Happy Hoops is the fact that the cereals surprisingly look noticeably smaller than regular Fruit Loops or the Fruit Rings version. They're certainly not tiny, yet the difference in size is quite surprising. Otherwise the Happy Hoops look pretty much identical to Fruit Loops and Fruit Rings. And apart from the size you would have a hard time to differentiate them just based on looks alone. Thankfully Happy Hoops in contrast to the Fruit Rings versions I tasted did a much better job at the most important part of any cereals, the taste. The flavor of fruit drinks was so impactless they were nearly tasteless without milk. With milk it got a little bit better but the discrepancy to fruit loops was massive. Happy Hoops thankfully have a much stronger flavor that comes a lot closer to the original and especially with milk the difference in quality is rather small. Nonetheless there is still a little difference in quality experienceable but that seems acceptable for knockoff cereals. Happy Hoops are a nice surprise. After the fruit drinks experiment I expected another disappointment. Happy Hoops however do taste quite well. The original admittedly does taste superior but the difference is rather marginal. While the difference in price didn't come close to outweighing the difference in quality between Fruit Rings and Fruit Loops, Happy Hoops are a very respectable alternative. I wouldn't call this must have cereals but the cheaper price makes them a decent choice for breakfast. You should however not expect anything more than a slightly inferior Fruit Loops version. I give Happy Hoops a respectable 6 out of 10. Thanks for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one.